Are you an autism? No. I'm, you sure? We should have tested the audio. You want to say hello? Uh, you're not mentally disabled. Hello, right? check one, two. Hello. Check, check. Is it is this good where I am here? Yes. Am I good? This Feel is, good? Sound good? This is the most professional podcast in Kansas City. It's Small Boys Podcast. Every, like, guest here is a headliner. Every... Every guest here is the most successful guest I've had on here. When you think about it, because I I like to think of like Small Boys as the Tonight Show before Kansas City. You know what I mean? Oh, we started. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're here for Tonight Show, so it's like career defining. So it's uh, has no teeth, is lame, and uh, you laugh at everything it, that anyone says ever. It's the Tonight Show, but yeah, in the nineties. In the nineties. <laughs> So I'm here with Jared Oshel. Yeah. He's to my right. That's him. I'm with Thomas Hughes. Making a comeback. Hey, don't want my comeback. Wipe it off your lip. So, so. Okay. What, what were we talking about? <laughs> I, don't know. Um, I don't know. We're talking about how much, like, I love women. And I, I just keep, I just want to say that. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> just for a certain amount of it. I'm. I'm tired of like, um, you know, I'm pe- people. Someone called me a pick me boy the other day. They called you a pick me boy. Yeah, Why? is it because you're a small island dwelling boy? <laughs> An island, the yeah, island pick of me boy. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm I'm like a what? mongrel. No, I get what you're saying. Like a pygmy boy, like yeah, a small boy, like a pygmy boy. That's why it's small boys because you're, you're right in the back of rhinoceroses. I sorry, I heard that on a rain in a rainforest cafe whenever I was eight and I stuck with it. That's just a fact. Man. So so Jared, so we gotta we gotta start this podcast okay. somehow. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Jared, tell us tell us about yourself. That is the worst question, <laughs> Jared. Where do you? What? Okay, well, now okay, I know okay. why you no. haven't been fucking. It's because you're asking women to tell them, uh, to <laughs> tell, tell you about them themselves. themselves. All right, Jared. You, okay, you what, and me are on Jared, a date, right? Jared, now. Okay. I'm talking. Okay, all right. So, wow. Where, <laughs> where do you get your ideas from? Uh, where do I get my uh, like ideas for what? Like comedy? Like comedy? Just ideas? like your ideas. Like where do you get them from? Like when when you generally thinking. they just pop in my head because I have intrusive thoughts. Uh, I don't know. Like whenever I'm thinking about what I do for comedy, like generally it's just something dumb that's popped in my head, and I'm like, oh yeah, I can extrapolate on that, and so I, I just write it out when I do it. I mean, gener- I mean, realistically, like a lot of the stuff that I do, if you haven't seen my comedy, is just like, uh, it's like it's just stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know if it's stupid. Maybe I'm just like. But it's a lot of, uh, you know, personal yeah it's stories. Personal like, you stuff. actually like Special K. I do love and special. You actually, K. think that chainsaws are way too easy to buy. They listen. I you can. I <laughs> here's the thing that I've been talking about a lot recently. Whenever like things will pop up, and I'll just be like, I don't lie in my jokes. Like I, I'll I'll bend the truth, but I don't. The basis of all my jokes are truth. Like you can go to Walmart and buy a chainsaw. That is absolutely true. It's too easy. Uh, it's also just way too fun. I feel like people don't understand. People people think like people don't take me seriously when I'm doing comedy, but like my jokes. You don't say. I feel it's like comedy. It's not supposed to be taken. But seriously. that's the people, thing. People, that's, that's why I shut up. Okay. I'm talking. Oh here. wow! <laughs> is this what this is? This how you're getting girls? Put the, put the is you like? Hey, I'm gonna up. talk. No, no, no. The this is my talk. Up. This is my time. This is my time. Thomas, talk to me. Can you, uh, Who's your, do you have an editor? Or you do it. You do all that. <laughs> Can we get? A do tally? we want to start Can we over? Get a tally for every time Bill tells Jared to shut up. Yeah. Thank you. Um, people don't realize that when I talk, I'm actually speaking like truth to power. People don't realize. Yeah. I'm actually like people don't realize. Is it Nietzsche? Yeah. People, people don't realize. No, it's I, I, will to power. Will to power. People don't realize that like, um, just I fuck. I like, and I understand. Like, people don't realize. <laughs> People don't understand. Not- <laughs> People don't understand that like I'm, I'm not like I'm not dumb. I'm actually like I'm so smart. People think I'm dumb. You know what I mean? No, I yeah, I get it. So okay, can I can I? <laughs> you're so smart. People, people think you're dumb. Think- okay, so, can I can I ask? So like, no, hey, I'm talking. Okay, so- <laughs> well, that's three. That's three now. 
Well, so I'm just asking, like, the structure of this podcast. Is it you're going to ask ask questions and I answer them, or is it very free form? You know, I'll are, be are all the questions going to be about your dating life? So um, usually it's a, a lot more structured. Okay, but um, you know, earlier is better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, he said. I said no. Okay, if you, we were talking. Yeah, and it was like, hey, uh, we're all good. We can we do it at three? Three sounds good. And then you text us this morning. You're like, actually, three thirty to four would be good. I'm like, yeah, I guess the earlier the better. Meaning like three thirty, and then I get I I, I fucking I text Bill. I'm gonna be twenty minutes late uh, from three, so I get here at three ten. He's just like, all right, okay. I thought you said earlier was better. Yeah. <laughs> and then like three thirty, like be earlier for you. I understand you work and stuff. I was trying to work around you. Not like I have much to do today. I don't work on Monday, so. So, <laughs> you're a big fan of uh, Badcock Home Furniture. Me? Yeah. I'm a fan of Babcock. <laughs> what? You're afraid of Badcock Home Furniture. He's probably going through your Instagram <laughs> follows right now. Oh my God! Is this? Is it? Did I post this on Instagram in like 2016? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why? What? I don't even remember posting that. Is it because I think there was a furniture store called Babcock Furniture, and I think I was just like, "Yeah, it's Badcock Furniture." What? Where's that from? Is that like a? Let, let's talk about your. Uh, no, no, no. I see what's on the. <laughs> we're not gonna bring this up. Do not. He he had a picture of my ex girlfriend. Were you gonna? <laughs> What? Let's talk about. Can I say your name? No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not going to bring up my ex girlfriend on this podcast. Okay. Well, it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, is that everything? Was all of this just about my ex girlfriend? <laughs> do you want to know about my life? Or do you want to? Okay. Yeah, we've you, we've okay. been talking, Jared. We've been talking. Oh, okay. All right. We've been talking. This is what I brought you on on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. She's. The uh, the uh, very special girl I've been talking to. Okay. <laughs> Continue. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you do. No, do the bit. Do the full bit. Um, do it. I don't know. I just. I just feel like you know. I feel like I'm. I'm. I'm like mentally disabled or like mentally. Is there something wrong with me? You know. Okay. My, my dad. I would be surprised. Is that- Okay, does that, okay. Do you still want to go through your other Instagram? Is, is the rest of your questions about Instagram, uh, about my ex? My, my dad. Okay, my you dad. get one question. You get one question, and I will decide if I want to answer it. Okay. You you did all the research. You get one. I did not do all the research. Did, or were this you is... just now going through my Instagram and being like, this is, I, I what's this about? <laughs> I'm just pretty sure that you picture. just fart and just... laugh. I'm trying to tell you about my life and my past trauma. This is (laughs) and my life before comedy. And you go, "Hmm, what's a good time? I'm gonna fart right now. This is is very cool. You know what, Jared? What was it like when you cried in the shower for six months? This is way more (laughs) humiliating. That's why all those soaps are there. Uh, Jared has a soap fucking graveyard. So, a, it's a soap graveyard. so you once said that the guide to love and lasting relationships is finding a woman who makes you laugh and finding a woman who has a job and loves housework. When did I say that? And then, and then I have more. I have like it's six things. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> right. three. Find a woman who is honest. Four. Find a woman who will wait on you. Wait on you, hand and foot, and find a woman who is I don't think I said this. awesome in the bedroom. I don't think I said this. And then, you, this like, this is a the thing you've said on the internet. So, <laughs> said, most of all, it's very important that none of these five women meet. I don't think I said this. When did I say this? Um, Was this just like a meme that I shared? A pro- most likely, ironically. <laughs> Well, let me tell you something, buddy. Irony or not, that's what you said. <laughs> He's not answering the question. Let me tell you, buddy. That's what you said. I don't think it I, is. I, I'm I here don't to... think it you is. got him so good, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I, that does not sound like anything I would have ever said. Actually, it sounds like something exactly you said. You, can you show me where I said it? Don't play into this. <laughs> 
No, show me where I said it. Okay. I'm, I'm, no, lean into it. Say, yeah, fuck yeah, I said that shit. <laughs> no. We're going to see this. Uh, no, this is a post from <laughs> December 22nd, 2013, and it is a bathroom sign uh, that I shared. Wait, how old was I in 20? Oh my God, this is like my first, inst- this is the third thing I've ever posted on Instagram. <laughs> In 2013, yeah, is this is this where I get canceled? Yeah, I mean, is this what happens? You have to like, you have to be famous to get canceled. You can't. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not gonna let me work the line anymore. Twenty years from now, and I don't think okay. it's the the women thing post yeah. that's gonna get you canceled. I'm pretty sure it's the blackface. I did. Did you find that on the Instagram? <laughs> I thought I deleted it. Listen. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> His elementary school did a minstrel show. Ironically, yeah, I was I was being Justin Trudeau for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, last year too. Um, what else you got? How are you? How's your dating life? Want to talk about your ex girlfriend now? Um, I already did that on the There's last podcast. Yeah. I already did that on the last podcast. Want to talk about your current love situation since you're you have um, me on? I've been starting to call every woman I talk to queen. Why? Because I feel like... Do you think that's genuine, or do you think that's just something that you're putting on? I, I don't know. So, the thing with me... Wait, you say it to them? Yeah, like, hi, queen. How are you doing, queen? Is that, that's, that's genuine, though. I don't like, know. you mean that. I think um, Thomas's girlfriend, and Gracie, that's been on the podcast, she kind of, like, she kind of s- spread, like, her... Gave me a mental illness... <laughs> Yeah. Because I can't stop saying like queen. Gracie's a meme ward, so like I she, get why she would say queen. She, she just says it, queen. and she's just programmed my mind to see all women as royalty. You know what I'm saying? And um, I I have this weird thing where it's like I can't I can't compliment people. I can't like um or I'd like to compliment people, but like it's not socially acceptable to randomly compliment people. <laughs> I thought you were gonna throw up. <laughs> Um, nice burp. I, I was a burp. You didn't see it. I saw it come up through his chest. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, here it is. I don't know. I was just sh- sh- shitting and burping all over burp. myself. Yeah. I burp. <laughs> I burp. burp. I'm trying to quit. Yeah. <laughs> I burp two or three times in college. But... Dude, I want to burp a girl. You know what I'm saying? I want to burp her. <laughs> sounds all... so gross. I want to burp her all up and down. <laughs> it sounds like such a bad thing. What did you do? Burping? What is that? What Where you do? slide around in sludge? Oh, we're recording on your Bluetooth headphone right now. <laughs> what? I think that's what just happened. It's powered off. There's like a fourth track. Dude, what's happening? Is Dude. your is your video camera record sound? Yeah. Dude, we're maybe that's what it is. Dude. I, I, I've done this podcast. This is the 36th episode, and yeah, I have no idea. We're figuring it out I have as we go. No I idea just want to say doing. that Bill claimed that it was socially unacceptable to compliment people. Which is not true. And I complimented him, and no one said anything. Yeah. Thus disproving you. I win. This is my podcast. Now. So yeah, this, is my, <laughs> this is now Big Boys with Thomas. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you guys are Big it's mostly Boys. mostly just jerking off. <laughs> Uh, what does your shirt say? TFB. Yeah, it's uh, those are right there, the letters TFB. Jump. It's um, it's just a quick little eye exam for people. <laughs> you passed. I, I was I was I kind of I was t- talking to you earlier, Thomas, <laughs> and we were having this interesting l- little conversation where you're just like, I don't like any show that I bomb on, and I, I kind of really connect to that. You know what I mean? I, That's a bad show. Who said that? You. I could not say that. Yeah, because you've <laughs> you've never bombed. That is also not true. Um, I kind I kind I I th- kind of think you're like um a messiah figure for the Lawrence Thank comedy you. scene. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel the same way. Uh, but thanks for noticing. Uh, what the fuck am I? You're like am I Jesus's pet? You're John. You're, you're Brian. I'm Brian. <laughs> I started the mic. <laughs> You're John. You're John the Baptist. Well, <laughs> I mean, we started the mic. It was, we started the mic. We started the mic. It was very much me going up to talk. Do we want to talk about our comedy? Uh, <laughs> so no. tell us, tell us about your misogynistic jokes, if you can even call them that. 
You have your sets online, right? <laughs> you know, like, I, I don't know. People people accuse me. Someone accused me of being trans the other day. <laughs> That's an accusation. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I get accused of being black. I get accused of being trans. Is that accused? Or, like, they're just... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I feel like accuse <laughs> has the connotation of it being, like, a crime. Well, it's just an accusation. Accusations. I guess, just... I, I guess that counts. I don't know. I got accused of being black. I'm like, I'm not. I'm not. I swear. Well, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm Chinese, guys. I'm Asian. How do you mix up black and Chinese? The curly hair. The oh, racially yeah. ambiguous skin tone. The you're like a shade darker than me. It's a shade it's dark he enough. Keeps that rice paper umbrella on. <laughs> you got to keep that sun out. Yeah. You got to. Or else then you'll look like a South Asian. You. <laughs> Dude, you that? That, that's how the, all the North Asians are like so hyper fixated with skin color. Yeah. That's why, because they're really racist against darker skin colored Asians like Cambodians yeah. and Filipinos and stuff. Well, it's also it's also like a class thing in China. Yeah, it's classist and racist. Yeah. It's no, it's a it's class. about like um, having fair skin means you don't have to work outside. Right. Same thing with being uh, a full bodied woman in the uh, Regency time period in Europe. Um, let's talk about full bodied women. Ask her tits, guys. <laughs> um, if you got it going on, I like it. If it's if you got something that works, I'm down. So I have some like complicated thoughts about Aster Tits. Um, I know he just wants a woman to cook and clean for That's him. That's not true at all. Uh, and also wants to <laughs> cheat I, on I'd her. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> he's just... So my thoughts is like, so ass, I feel like, I guess you can, I feel like you can do more with like big boobs than you can do with a big ass. You know what I mean? Like... I, I dated a girl whose ass was so fat. How fat was it? What was he? How fat was he? Or it's like, <laughs> what was his name? I, what's his name myself? Um, like, you can't even grab onto it because it's so, like, round. You know what I'm saying? It's not. Listen, I don't want to give dead air. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I get you. I get you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. But I feel like... Yeah. <laughs> I love women so much. I'm more of like a thigh. I'm a thigh master myself. I'm uh, I'm real big into a uh, hole. <laughs> yeah. Dude. That's my favorite part. Yeah. You ever thought about like... I actually, I like it when a girl has a tail. Mm. Fuck yeah, like one of those like, butt plug like, tails. The what? The butt plug tails? No, not like like whenever they have like their whenever their tailbone like actually grows a tail. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about? Like one of the like a spina anomalies. bifida. Yeah, no, that's not what that is. It's not. Uh, no, <laughs> spina bifida is not. No, like people with tails, and I take it and I put it in my mouth and I jerk it off, and that's it. And they, that's can what they I'm wiggle it? I feel like. Huh? Can they wiggle it? They can wiggle it. Fuck yeah. yeah. No. If you want to ask about my ex, she did have a tail. That's cool. Like was that's she? Not, what? With a tailbone. Yeah, it was a tailbone and a tail. And appendage. See, here's the thing. It just, this feels off. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I would. Fascinating. Fascinating. That, the tail seems interesting. I feel like there's a lot of uses for the tail. Yeah, what do you, you know think? Okay, if you, it's not like a big tail. It's only like that. Big. So that's like. Uh, generally, whenever people have tails, it it's like two or three balance. inches. It's like two or three it's inches. It's more of just like a, a mood indicator. Yeah, it's not a prehensile tail. Like, you can't go and grab, grab shit with it. You'd want to, but you can't. Is it, um. I mean, it's a nub. It's like a useful nub. Yo, was is your... it useful? Well, not really. It's vestigial. It's like anti-vestigial. I don't know. Like a vestigial structure becomes non-vestigial anymore. It's like your appendix were to start I working all of a sudden. I don't know what that means. A vestigial structure is just, it's like something that you don't use anymore, essentially. Like that's the what the tailbone is. It's like it connects to a tail. But we don't have an actual tail anymore, so we don't have it. The same with like the appendix. The appendix used to house like uh, good bacteria for your gut so you could break down raw meat uh, and stuff like that but we don't need it anymore because we started cooking food so it's just become null and void and i had mine out so if i were to eat raw meat uh nothing really would happen but like it shrunk like it used to be an actual organ and it shrunk down to something like the size of like a finger that's it it's like on the it's end at the of your end, it's end of, at the end of your uh large intestine was your girlfriend a furry 
My ex girlfriend? Yeah. No. <laughs> I wish. Did you? Did you? Were you a theater kid in high school? Uh, yeah. Obviously. Did you? Okay, are we getting to like facts now? Yes, I was a theater kid in high school. So, I was a theater kid, and I did sports, and I sang, and I did band. I did everything. So, could you tell me about auditioning for the Irene Ryan scholarship? You got you... him so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't believe you brought. I was hoping you bring this up because this is like actual research. I was talking about this morning. I was like, go to some research, right? I thought maybe you'd start out with that and not just be like, hey, so you had a girlfriend before, right? Tell me about, yeah. Yeah, so I did, uh, I went to Fort Scott Community College on a theater scholarship. So my base background is theater. I went there because I did uh, not just theater in high school, I did forensics and I did IDAs, which is improvised duet acting. Uh, and I got a scholarship to Fort Scott because they wanted to start up an improv troupe. Uh, and uh, I was also an actor, so we did that. Uh, and my first semester there, we did <coughs> uh, we did the Bald Soprano, which is an uh, absurdist play by Eugene Ionesco, uh, and we framed it around because um, it was 2016. We framed the Bald Soprano around the 2016 election. Are you texting in the middle of this? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we framed it around. The 2016 election, because in and of itself, it was absurd. So, like, we had, because the play is two families uh, having a night together. Uh, and then at the end, they just get into, like, a big argument and all falls apart and whatnot. Um, but we framed it to, so, like, one side was the Clintons and one side was the Trumps. Like, those were the two, like, Mr. and Mrs. Smith and Mr. and Mrs. Uh, I forget the name. I forget the name. Beauregard. Tom, Beauregard. Whatever. Um, so... We did that, and it actually went to college. We got scholarships the same day, me and my buddy Jason. Uh, I went to high school with him. Uh, I went to Fort Scott with him then because we got scholarships there. Uh, we were roommates. He also got Irene Ryan nominated. I got nominated for that show because uh, we had adjudicators there, which are like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know. I don't like him either. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> They were adjudicators, uh, and they came and they watched the show. They were adjudicators for KCACTF, which is... Fucking what is it? I forget. It's just the big hour. So we are in like a section for college theater and they came and watched in and are like, we like these people and we like the show. We were trying to get the show to go to the festival and perform at the festival. Uh, we didn't get that. We did get the very in scene to go to the festival and perform at the opening, which was very fun because it's this weird like we had it set up so that we had two podiums like we were having a debate. and We were just yelling shit at each other and it doesn't make sense and it's very one rat after another and it cuts each other off which Was is just like what the debates or were two lecterns is there a difference yeah, there is. okay two so. lecterns whatever and we had one that was like uh you know for bill clinton or, or hillary clinton and bill same because I, I essentially played bill clinton in the show um and you then you do a good bill i think do you think I do? Just, by, do good just by sizing you up. Well, here's the thing: is the adjudicators asked us about the show, like afterwards, like we they went and talked, and they're like, "Hey, you kind of like went in and out of your um, uh, accent." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." They're like, "Yeah, but you know, it kind of worked for it because you know you're I mean, kind of going in and out of like the idea in and out of his accent." You see, it kind of works with it. Uh, it's not just that I'm a bad actor; it's that I'm a really good actor. Um, <laughs> anyway. So we found out a few weeks later that we were going, that me and Jason uh, and this girl, Stephanie, who played uh, the wife on the other side, or in this case, Melania Trump, was also Irene Ryan nominated. Uh, so we got to go to uh, Des Moines, Iowa, which is where the festival's held. You mean you had to go to Des Moines, Iowa? We got to go. It was so fun. It's this big theater festival. They have different colleges from around the area do shows. They have, we did workshops. Uh, I did um, like one or two improv workshops. There were, excuse me, um, just like literally any part of theater that you can think of, they had a workshop where you can go for free because you were in this festival. Um, we walked all around Des Moines because they had this system that's just like a big hallway all throughout every building and it's all interconnected and it was snowing, which was awesome. So we got to go inside for the most part throughout the city while it was negative outside. It is so, I love Des Moines, Iowa so goddamn much. But anyway, so whatever you go to Des Moines. More or less than Special K. <laughs> Did, am I just, am I down to one joke? <laughs> I love Special K. I fucking love Chainsaw. Des Moines, Iowa. And Chainsaw. Oh, you're right. Surf's uh, up. 
But so whenever you go to the Moyne and you're Irene Ryan nominated, um, so that means you're nominated for a scholarship and you have to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You have to perform to get the scholarship and there's different rounds. So you do like a solo performance uh, and two uh, duo performances. And I got matched up with another guy that I did a duo with. Um, and you had to find all stuff that was all royalty free and stuff that I like. Luckily we were doing a show that was royalty free because we were, it was not published yet. We were working with the, not the Baltimore. This is the next semester. We were working with the director and the writer, not the director, the writer of the play. So I got to pick a section from there. That was just one big monologue about how everybody's fucking trash. And I have to drink to get away from the guilt and all this and that, but it was, it was a pretty powerful um, piece. I did that. And for the second piece there, because in the first round, you do a monologue and you do a duo. And I did that monologue and a duo with another guy. I didn't make it past the second. I didn't make it past the first round. I mean, I was good enough to get there. But, like, there were fucking people who were going to be on Broadway now. Like, I had no chance. Like, just, I mean, I thought I did pretty good. But, like, they were so much better than me. Uh, I just was not. I came from a very, very small school to a very, very small college um, to the biggest one of the, I mean, the fifth, because there's five regions, like, the biggest theater festival in the country. So, um, but yeah, it was fun. It was a lot, a lot of fun. I would fucking go back anytime. So you also played football. Yeah, in high school. All right. Um, and in that, you sang the national anthem. I did, because I was also in choir. Can you do that for us now? Sing the national anthem? <laughs> Yeah. Do you want to hear the national anthem? Yes. <laughs> this is the point in the podcast, if they haven't already, where they turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So I can tell you about singing it. No. Do you want me to actually sing it? Because here's the thing: I don't think anybody wants to hear me sing the national anthem. I don't. I, I don't think. I don't think nationalism as a whole uh, is real popular with comedy fans these days. I love America. I also love America. It doesn't mean that I wake up to the national anthem every day. <laughs> yeah, I don't get what everyone's problem is. My life is great. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing great. Dude, I'm hearing myself like two I'm, They call me the two-timer. They call me, they call me the Jimmy big two dog. Times. Jimmy they, two-time? They call, me, they call me Timmy Turner. They call me Tinker Tom. They call me Tinkling. Yeah. Yeah, Timmy. That's what they call him. They, they call you uh 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 twink. <laughs> call call you little little twink Tom. Little they twink, call they twink call me Tony? twink. Why am I going twink? <laughs> they call me twinky. <laughs> oh my God. You got small gay. I got small on boys on my mind. Is what it is, dude. It's it's racist, man. Call me twink? a twinkie. Yeah, twinky. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Oops. I'm tired of this. <laughs> Yellow on the outside, weight on the inside, persecution. Yeah? You know, I'm you, really, Hey, are there any slurs? Hey, you uh, assimilated. You should be proud of that. Yeah. Yo, yo. <laughs> you got any slurs for white people over there in China? Um, Just like ghost. Ghost? Like, like what, ghost what's face killer? Like yeah. a, like a the, white, white ghost. What's the, like, what's the Chinese slur for it? I don't know. Can I say it? I think I can. I'm I think sure you can say have, anything. I don't know if you have like the tonal ability to say it. I think I can. Because no. uh, no. you know, uh, Mandarin is very tonal. I'm Big giving boy. you permission to Big call. Big white. I don't know. Probably white ghost. I don't know. That's 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 the only like racial slurs I know for other races is when they say like, "Oh, you're," what is it? Like they just say like, like hey, hey guai is like hey guai is like. Is that the, pr- that, the right that, pronunciation? That's the name of like. It's probably fo- something like hey, guai. It's um. It's the name of like. <laughs> it's the name of uh, f- Fallout f- New Vegas uh, stealth suits, Chinese stealth suits. But it's also it means black ghost. But Fallout it's also New Vegas. We have hit the niche market. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 it's, it's All like of you it, Fallout New Vegas fans. <laughs> it means it means black that's ghost. It means black ghost and it's like a racial racist attack against. Black people, yeah. yeah. Uh, did, Chinese, they just, did they just put a color in ghost? Yeah, Is that I guess. the Chinese slurs? I don't know. The, like, here's the thing. White people came up with some great slurs. Well, no, it's just white people came with some great 
um, taking over the world. Well, what, where, <laughs> where, the the power, where the power of the slur comes from is the <clears throat> subjugation and domination of the race. The oh. word itself necessarily isn't that powerful. That's what, yeah. No, that's, no. We get inventive. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We're gonna, Who is we? Let, let's, I am not. <laughs> listen. Not, eh, not me. I, let's, listen, most of my family came over here right before 1900, so I, I, I really have nothing. You know, I'm, I'm glad this, you said uh, that. I have a Mayflower ancestor. Do you really? I do. So you're the problem. No. <laughs> My ancestors were part of the problem. And, and I am also part of the problem. And, because and now, this is a structural show. Keep up the family tradition. <laughs> and now he has a tattoo to commemorate his what? history. Yes. Commemorate. What do you got to commemorate it? Uh, to commemorate what? Uh, the tattoo the to pilgrims. commemorate the Mayflower. You yeah. commemorate that too much? I don't have a Mayflower tattoo. You have a Native American tattoo. He has a feather tattoo. I have I have a feather tattoo. Um, it is Native American iconography. Um, it was also done by a an, uh, Native guy, Indigenous 